how to divide slice images in Illustrator. I'm using CC220, similar can be done in earlier versions. Go to File and New, set the artboards to 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. Set the size and then create a new document. Then go to File and Place and place the document. Now, obviously, I've already got the image already there. And you can see the artboards behind. You can then go to File and Export and Export As. Always remember to check the Use Artboards. Set the Output folder. Now I'm going to use JPEGs, PNG, whatever. You can use a variety of different formats. SVG, text format. But JPEG's fine. And use artboards. Always remember to select that. Give it a name and click export. Set the options and click OK. And that's it. It's done. So you go to Finder or your folders on Windows or PC on Mac. And then you've got all the various files. Now they're all the same image, but obviously now split up or divided. But of course, they're artboards. You can do more than that with artboards. So you can always go to Object and Artboards and rearrange all artboards. You can change the spacing. So I've got 60 there at this point. But you can make it 5 or 10 or 100. And you can also change the layout. And again, click OK. You can also duplicate the image. So Alt or Option key, divide and copy it a couple of times, make a couple of copies. Or maybe rotate the design or maybe apply effects to it, and then export those. You can also resize it, drag it, distort it, warp the image. And now you've still got that selection of artboards underneath, but you can always create some more artboards. And you can move the artboards around as well. So you, what you can do, just drag over with the artboard tool, create some new artboards. And you can resize the artboards as well. Click on that and then resize that. So you can make thin slices, thick slices. You can overlap the artboards. So you can create 20, 30, 40, etc. artboards from that image. And then once you've done that, you can go to File and Export, Export As. Again, remember to click the Use Artboards. Why that doesn't stick, I do not know. The times I've run it and I've suddenly found I've only got one file. Use Artboards, it'd be nice if it remained. Click Export. I'm using the same output folder. Click OK. Now you go to the finder and you can see now you've got these individual sliced or divisions of your image. You can run through there. So you can see the different sliced designs. Now you, what you can do, you could import them into Photoshop, maybe use them as a video. So you could import them also into After Effects. But you can also do File, Save As. Now this doesn't save them as individual PDF files, but you've got a PDF op option there. But of course, you can always go into maybe Photoshop, 
open each of the individual JPEGs and then save them as a PDF. So you've got format PDF there. So I'm going to save that. Now this is one single PDF file. We go with the default, save PDF. And this takes, depending on the file, quite a long time. It chugs through it. But it can process it, and then you will end up with a PDF document. You can see the temp file there. Once that's done, there's the PDF document there. And of course, what you can do, you can open it. I'm using Preview, but you could, of course, open it in other applications. So you've got your PDF document there now. And they're all, again, individual slices of that original image. And of course, what you can do, you can open the PDF, maybe modify it in numerous ways. All created using artboards. So all kinds of different designs can be created simply by bringing an image in and then using artboards and the export command or save command. You can also use them as a video. You can also import all those images into a movie application, something like After Effects. Perhaps apply effects to them to create all kinds of amazing videos. And of course you can speed that up, make it a very fast video or in this case, where it slowly moves through. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials all the time about Illustrator, Photoshop, and many other applications. Please add a comment or two, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.